Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. As you know, I've been dealing with a nasty infestation for the last couple weeks. It feels more like months to me. I need your advice on a plan of mine. I've given it some thought and I like the idea, but I would love some validation on it being a good move or not. You all know Psychedelic Babe, super awesome friend. Anyone who doesn't know her needs to go over and say hello. Well, she and I were chatting about my situation and what possible course I have left. She suggested something to me that I have also considered. As mean and awful as this may sound, but to be completely sure this disease is gone, I have been thinking of euthanizing the remaining fish. I have considered doing this before, but have never been able to go through with it. I just feel it's so unfair. This time, being far more serious and having the possible danger of cross-contamination, the idea is not quite as scary to me. I'd like to know if you have ever euthanized a fish, and if not, is it something you would consider? And if you have, how did you feel, and did you use clove oil? Having given this much thought, I came up with a great plan. I have pond fish tanks in my basement. There are two 40 gallon tanks and one 60 gallon tank that I will not need until the end of October. I could move all my sick fish, including the six juveniles, into one of those tanks. Here's my question. I have eight adults and six little ones. Do you think they would be okay in a 40 gallon? The reason I'm asking is because I do have room to put the 40 gallon upstairs, but not a 60. So if they should go in the 60, then they will remain in the basement. I know they would get way more attention having them close by. So this is a question I need you guys to help me with. Is a 40 gallon too small? I'm really excited about getting this underway because it will allow me to get my 75 gallon and my 55 gallon cleaned out, disinfected, and ready to restock. It will take a while, but the sooner I get this underway, the sooner I'll be able to move on and put this all behind me. I honestly do not think that I will allow the infected fish to return to either one of these setups. It's way too scary knowing that they have been in with the infected fish. You know how sometimes sickness can be carried but not infect the carrier? That's what scares me. When I think of it like this, the whole euthanizing thing makes sense. These are my thoughts tumbling around in my head right now. I would greatly appreciate your input. Please know that I know whatever you suggest is your opinion. Do not hesitate in being frank and honest. I need serious, open honesty here. You guys are my sounding board. I need you big time on this. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Have yourself a wonderful week. I eagerly wait for your comments and feelings on this issue. Thanks so much for watching, and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.